Hi, this is John Munson here with another video about old cars. Um, today I want to talk to you um, not about uh, the wonderfulness of the old car or the style or how magnificent they are, because they are, and everybody talks about that, but I want to talk to you about what it's really like living with uh, a car from the 1960s. The 1960s cars are fantastic to look at, they've got all that style, etc., but they are nearly 60 years old. And Things don't work as well as you might think they do. Um, so let's have a look um, with my 1966 uh, E-Type Jag um, 4.2 liter uh, convertible. This is the car that uh, we call Blue. So here's Blue, um, sunny day in Florida and doing everything that an E-Type is meant to do which is to sit and look magnificent in the sun. This is an unusual color. It's an original E-type color called Cotswold Blue. Um, and this car, um, like my other cars, um, is um, restored uh, completely, but has a few modifications that make it a little more reasonable for modern driving. Um, it has uprated disc brakes. Um, it has a better radiator, it's got a high torque starter, um, it has electric power steering, um, which uh, if you've seen my previous videos you'll know that's my one of my favorite um, add-ons. It just comes on and off, it doesn't um, uh, really require any modifications um, of the car that can't be reversed very easily. The car was uh, built and restored um, by David Ferguson and his team at Images Auto Body in California. And he built this car for a 7,000 mile um, Adriatic uh, uh, rally. Um, had it shipped to England, um, drove from London all the way down to Greece and back again, um, and it never missed a beat. Um, with that build in mind, um, he made a few changes. Um, he has his uh, usual modification which some purists don't particularly like in relation to the front corners here um, with coilovers um, uh, where the standard shocks would be uh, the torsion bar is retained um, but uh, the coilovers are there if you do that um, you have to modify the picture frame a little with a little strengthening and strengthening of the upper control arms um, because otherwise um, if you like, it uh, throws off the uh, strength and uh, uh, stiffness of the front subframe. But you do all the subsequent modifications and it all works uh, well. So it's beautiful. Um, but uh, it's a 60s car, so um, where do we go from here? Well, firstly, you know, the mirrors, the bullet mirrors, um, they look lovely, they are period. And you can see out of them, uh, that's fine, but they're not as good as modern mirrors. Every Jaguar E-Type had uh, three um, uh, windscreen uh, wipers, and they are, for the most part, uh, useless. Um, together, I guess you get the screen reasonably uh, wiped, but uh, they are most certainly not as good as modern wipers, so beware of that. Let's not forget, of course, that E-types um, were built to a price. Um, and when the car exists now, it's in better shape than it was when it left the factory. But they rattle and shake a bit um, with the best will in the world. Um, they're not um, uh, the same as a modern car. The uh, closed-in headlights, um, which everyone wants, um, are the, another piece of um, devilish activity. Look at this in here, you can see bits of dust and stuff. And somehow the condensation and the dribbles are always on the inside of the glass, not on the outside of the glass. I mean, come on, what's that about? Very annoying, but absolutely classic uh, E-type stuff. Uh, I mentioned about the wipers. Um, it's only part of the equation. Of course, these cars leak. Um, so you certainly wouldn't put them, even the fixed head, you wouldn't put it through uh, a car wash um, and um, be in no doubt that um, uh, if you're in a downpour it'll come through the uh, 
the footwell and the door jams, etc. They're, they are not waterproof cars. Um, I have a spare boot lid that has a, a luggage rack on it, um, and that was done for the rally. Um, that's a sensible um, rally mod. I run it uh, normally with, uh, with the normal uh, boot lid. Um, what else do I want to tell you about? Well, inside the car, um, it looks beautiful, of course, but let's have a look and just go through some of the items. So you've got um, the classic uh, crackle, black crackle uh, dash here with the gauges. These gauges actually work, um, which is more than you can say for uh, the windscreen washer, which more or less vaguely directs lobs a little bit of water towards there. The wipers, um, uh, yes, they are fast and slow, um, so they're slowly or, f or more speedily useless. The map light uh, works, um, but uh, you wouldn't want to read a map by it. And this car, the cigar lighter, or now we're meant to call them PowerPoints, does work. The fast, slow fan, that's a joke. Um, really. Yeah, there is a fan but it um, is certainly not very good and the panel light, in other words the dash lights, that's notoriously useless in these cars. Uh, this car has upgraded um, instrument lights but it's still pretty bad. Um, everybody uh, talks about uh, the uh, clock in these cars. The clock does work in this car um, but usually what I have in my cars, I disconnect them. First of all, you know, don't you have a watch or a phone that you can check the time? And secondly, if you leave them, um, if you leave them there, um, they do tend to drain, um, drain the battery, battery slowly and steadily. That's the little switch there for the uh, air conditioning that I have in it. Um, it is a minor contribution to cooling. Uh, down here we have um, the little switches for the um, auxiliary fan and the uh, power steering. The electric power steering is switchable on and off, um, which is helpful. So if you're doing any high-speed touring, you just switch it off. You don't need it. I've put in a uh, battery tender, a trickle uh, thing here, um, which I do think is very sensible. Um, it's got a, um, an upgraded, uh, classically classic-looking radio, but of course it's really only got two speakers, so the sound is not what you'd call surround sound, and like a modern Burmeister. I did add to the car, um, hidden away in the glove compartment here, um, a, a serious radio transmitter. Uh, i got to tell you, I've never used it, um, and I'm going to take it out one day. Um, as you get out of the car and close the door, you don't hear the reassuring clunk that you get with uh, uh, modern cars or indeed a, um, let's say, a, a Porsche. It's more of a rattle um, because, uh, as I say, these cars are they're kind of loose. Um, and so, what does this mean? Well, um, they're not everyday drivers, but they can do it. Um, it's a beautiful car to drive. It's, this has the 4.2. You're not meant to say that the 4.2 is um, the nicest engine, but I actually quite like it. It's got oodles of torque, um, and uh, it, um, it's got plenty of power as well. It's definitely not as revvy and buzzy as the 3.8, but I think it's a, a good car. I forgot to say, you've only got lap belts uh, in these cars. Um, to uh, restrain you slightly should you have the misfortune of a crash um, I'm not even sure that they will stop you hitting your head against the uh, um, the mirror uh, here um, but it is uh, for these um, I've not put the inertia belts three points which you can do um, I have the obligatory um, I have the obligatory fire extinguisher there which is a friend of mine pointed out to me is really to help your friend who's gone on fire because if it's your car by the time you actually get it out um, uh, it's probably too late and then I have um, the little footrest uh, that goes in the um, uh, in the passenger footwell which I did not call this I did not write this but uh, if you can see here it's called a bimbo board 
Um, in today's um, society, I think that would be considered 100% unacceptable. So, in summary, absolutely epic looking car. Um, we'll do 100 miles an hour cruising all day long. But um, let's not forget, it's a 60 year old car. For a 60 year old car, it is truly magnificent. But some of the little stuff has got better uh, over the years. So, uh, signing off, this is John Monson. I'm going to take this car for a drive and um, talk to you a little bit about um, what it's like to drive blue. Um, I've shown you the 1954 XK120. I've shown you the uh, 62 fixed head, the Grey Goose. Um, and I'll do another video um, on uh, blue here. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit like and please give me your comments hopefully they'll be polite um, uh, and tell me what you'd like to hear take care